Okay, so if you're using Google Sheets and you have a table of data like we have here, and we'll say that these font colors mean something, and these fill colors also mean something based on a certain criteria. Someone's come in here and done this coloring, but you want to come in and either sort or filter by those colors. We'll go over how to do that right now. And the first thing that you wanna do is select the range. So we'll use the keyboard here uh, to select it down to row 31. You could also just select an active cell in the middle of the data and that will work, but it's a best practice to just be really specific to make sure you're only getting what you want. And if you go to data though, and you try just these sort options, or even if you left click on sort range, you're not going to get the option to sort by color. Um, but how you do find that is you go to data and you create a filter. So when you left click on create a filter, you can tell that the filter's on because you get these controls on the header row of each column and they'll give you the option to sort or filter by color. So we're going to talk about how those different options work uh, based on what you're trying to do. So let's start it on uh, column E where used fill color to indicate something. So, so let's say we want to sort this list and have all of the fill colors at the top. So you'd have to do that one at a time, but it can definitely be done. So if you want to go to sort by color and say fill color, let's select yellow. And what that does, it kept everything in place except the two rows in your range that contained cells in column E uh, that had the yellow background color in it. Put those at the top. So if you come over to the left and you look at the IDs, you can see that they're out of order now because four and 13 came to the top, but the rest of them stayed in order. So if you want them all to come up to the top, let's just do sort by color and pick the others. And there you go. So this entire list is sorted now by uh, background fill color and all the other data stays on the list. So that's what sorting by color does. So let's just undo this sort because it's just easier to think about this if we start over, I think. So we'll go over to the ID column and sort by that again. This is how we started, one, two, three, four. And we're going to go to uh, column B this time just to talk about uh, filtering the data. And I also made it just uh, font color instead of background fill, but it's that's gonna, going to work the same way. So instead of doing sort, let's do a filter. Right now it says none, meaning there's no filter applied. So everything's getting through and showing. But what a filter wants to do is uh, filter what is actually being shown and make the data set smaller. So if we go to text color and just pick blue, that's going to hide everything else. So let's left click on blue. And this is what a filter does. So if you just want to work on a certain type of data, this filter hid everything else. It's still there, you can turn it off. Um, but if you want to do red instead of blue, you can only pick one at a time right now the way these filters are designed, but you would just switch it there. And if you change it back to none, then everything shows again. So you can also sort and filter by color after you apply conditional formatting. So in this next video, we'll talk about how to highlight duplicates. And then once you find those, then you could filter your list by that color and work with them.